when someone with HD is drinking, their Korea will be worse? That's another good question too. So the drinking thing, but isn't just one way or another, right? Everyone with Huntington's is different. Everyone is different. We say when you see, when you've seen one person with Huntington's, you've seen one person with Huntington's. I think that, remember, alcohol is a depressant in the central nervous system. So does it depress Korea? Maybe for some people it does. However, it also interferes with people's judgment and their ability. So I think that this is just going to be one of those things that's not necessarily factual for everybody else. It's not necessarily a myth. It, it's really individual. So that being said, maybe some people get activated a little bit in terms of their career if they have alcohol on board and other people may just become not that way, just the opposite, a little more sedentary. But here's the take home. I think probably anyone with Huntington's may have a question. I, I know Stacy and Tom have seen numerous situations in the Huntington's world where people may use alcohol as a, a sedative for themselves, as a way of treating their psychological and physical pain. And alcohol dependency can be a problem with folks with Huntington's. The impairing the judgment Part of it is probably the most significant because you already have someone who has a brain disease, right? May have problems with impaired thinking, impaired judgment already just because of the, of having, by virtue of having Huntington's disease. So you really don't want to put a lot of stuff on board that can make that worse. And so I think when people with Huntington's seek advice and they should seek advice, from their provider about whether alcohol is okay, not okay. I think probably most providers would say in moderation, a glass of wine or a beer with a meal. I don't think anybody would want to say, oh no, you have to be cut off unless you're on an awful lot of psychiatric medication and then you might not be able. So see how I'm, I'm, I'm straddling the middle here because it isn't an all or nothing situation for everyone. I, I'd say the take home message is that I wouldn't worry about whether it makes Korea better or worse. I certainly, if you have somebody who is, who has a problem with alcohol, right? And that you're living with a person with Huntington's who, ha who has a problem with alcohol and you're using that rationale, it's gonna make your career worse to try to get them to not drink as much. That's probably not going to work. Probably not gonna be a good strategy and addressing the, pro if there's a problem with alcohol, you should come at it another way. So I, I'd say that the Korea thing isn't really the biggest issue is how it, how it influences their functioning. That to me is the bigger issue. Are they functional, not functional? Can they do this in moderation? Can they stop? Is it social or is it an addiction? So I don't know, Tom, Stacy, you guys want to share anything about that? So I, I agree with all of that. Certainly it's not so much that alcohol can make Korea worse but people with Huntington's do have trouble with coordination because of their chorea. And so alcohol, more than a little bit of alcohol, can badly influence coordination. And so that can combine with their chorea and they can have more trouble with coordination. The other thing it can sometimes affect is speech, slurred speech with alcohol. And people with Huntington's may already have difficulty with speech. So alcohol can make that worse. Certainly excessive alcohol and hunting don't go together well at all, but maybe a drink a day, a drink or two a week, something like that is certainly possible and not out of contention, but, but I'd be very careful about too much alcohol. Yeah, I would just add when you talk about coordination, you have to think of coordination also as balance. And imbalance and Korea are not the same thing. And so even if it helped Korea, which I'm not sure it does, but it can certainly impair balance if people drink too much alcohol. And so then you could cause a whole host of problems with risk of falls and some other potential issues there.